Now, using the wrong products and the wrong ingredients will definitely affect or damage your skin. If you have what skin, what are you supposed to use, what are the products that you're supposed to use, and what are the products that you are supposed to avoid. It's very important to know your skin type. Uh, hey guys, hey, 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 oh, welcome back to my channel. So if you are just seeing this face for the very first time, welcome. And for all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back. And then again, I do not take it for granted. Like each time I come on here, I see that one or two people have subscribed thank you so much so guys I am sure that the reason why you clicked on this video is because of the caption below so now let us talk about skin let us talk about skin because it is very important to know your skin type it is very very crucial to know what your skin type is because not knowing what your skin type is could potentially mean that you are using the wrong products now using the wrong products and the wrong ingredients will definitely affect or damage your skin so that is why it is very important for us to know about our skin and know about our skin type and know the perfect skincare regimen that we can use to help our skin be flawless and keep glowing so in today's video we are going to just be talking about a few things pertaining to skin so first of all we're going to be talking about what is a skin type and then we're also going to be looking at the factors that may be affecting your skin type again we're also going to be looking at the importance of knowing your skin type the different types of skin and how to know what your skin type is so without wasting much time let us just dive down into this very juicy details in a bit so what is skin type skin type might simply be determined by your genetic factors or how your skin behaves during certain seasons of the year so what are the factors that may affect our skin type it can be hormonal it can be medication it can be uh, lifestyle it can also be exposure to dust or exposure to chemicals so these are the various factors that may alter our skin types all right so moving on the importance of knowing your skin type now if you know what your skin type is you will follow a simple skincare regimen that would improve your skin but not knowing what your skin type is may literally mean that you're using the wrong products and not meant for your skin thereby damaging your skin have you also wondered why some products that are working perfectly well for your friends or your family members do not work for you it is simply because you do not have the same skin type as they do continually using this product unknowingly will damage your skin long term or continually exposing your skin to very harsh chemicals will definitely damage your skin and it takes a lot honestly it takes a lot for you to repair a skin that is damaged like for example rather than using very harsh product to to attain a particular complexion you can simply as simple as changing your lifestyle might improve your skin or sometimes engaging in exercises might also improve your skin rather than putting in harsh chemicals that would damage your skin long term and i tell you what when your skin is damaged especially on your face it takes miracle for your face to you know return back to its original state so it is very very important to for you to know your skin type know the type of products that you're using know the kind of skincare regimens that you're following in order for you to have a very flawless healthy skin that will just be glowing even without makeup okay so now what are the different types of skin so we have five different types of skin we've got the normal skin type we have the oily skin type we have the dry skin type the sensitive skin type and the combination skin type now do not forget that under these categories there are subcategories for example for dry skin there is either severely dry skin or mildly dry skin so it depends on the severity of your skin type okay so to the most important part of this video so how do you then determine or how do you then know what your skin type is baby if you're watching this video can you just pause it just pause this video go to the bathroom wash your face just wash your face do not use any cleanser just wash your face and do not do not pat it dry just leave it to dry on its own stay and wait for one hour 
now if you have a dry skin between the time that you left the bathroom to about 15 to 30 minutes you will see how your skin will feel so tight and then you will feel feel the need to add like cream on your face that means you have a dry skin and then if you have a combination skin type that means you have oil on your t-zone and this other part of the face is dry that means you've got a combination um, skin type these people on that 30 to 1 hour you see that their t-zone starts secreting oil and then the um, other part of the edges of their face feels dry again if you have an oily skin hmm, within the time you left the bathroom um 30 to 1 hour you see that your face is producing enough oil oil that is that is plenty in your face to start producing enough oil all right and then if you've got a sensitive skin you see that you start having some itchiness on your face and react to almost everything now talking about sensitive skin you can acquire sensitive skin in two ways it's either you're born with your skin being sensitive or over exposure to chemicals and fragrance and dyes prolonged use of all of these harsh chemicals on your body or your skin your skin will just tell you know what i've had enough and then it will just start fighting you and flaring up and getting angry because you have over exposed your skin to all these chemicals over time it might be that you have a normal skin like normal skin people can just go away with whatever like they follow little or no skin routine if you know what i mean they can apply anything and get away with them it wouldn't affect them those people are the ones that have got the normal uh, skin all right but people that have normal skin they can go away with it they, they might go and not have like live their simple lifestyle without any skincare routine but for people who are sensitive that they have sensitive skin i tell you what these people have the hardest time because every little thing that they apply on their skin it reacts all right and then moving on to the remedy if you have what skin what are you supposed to use what are the products that you're supposed to use and what are the products that you are supposed to avoid so starting off with dry skin if you've got a dry skin you, these are the products that you want to avoid so please avoid gel cleansers because you do not have oil already so you have to avoid anything that will strip off the small oil that your skin is even trying to produce so you can be using hydrating facial cleansers cleansers that will leave um, water on your face and then again you can also be using um, cream that have heavy moisture so that your skin can just retain this moisture from this cream and then it will mimic that in face of creating um, oil on your skin so you do well with heavy products and stay away from cleansers that are dehydrating so that you don't strip your skin off of the little oil that you have left if you have an oily skin you do well with lighter formulations that means you use products that are less oily you use products like gel moisturizers gel cleansers this will also help to reduce or curb the oil production on your face in terms of makeup you can be using you know pressed powder or loose powder this will also help soak up the oil that is being produced on your face so for the combination skin type i know that it can be a difficult thing to maintain such um skin type because at the end of the day you're trying to tackle oil on your t-zone and then you're also trying not to strip off oil on your edges so for these people you have to have like a whole line of um uh, skincare products because you have products that will tackle only the t-zone of your face and then you also have products that are hydrating that will hydrate the um edges of your face so it can be a lot you see those type of people having like lengthy like so much skincare line i mean it is what it is all right okay so for the sensitive skin remember that these people react to almost everything and then their skincare line is so small because they are very very particular so companies that really produces um products for this uh skin type so you can either purchase product from vani cream or aveno so these are the product lines that are meant for sensitive skin so guys it is very important to know what your skin type is um how to treat your skin to stay away from from products that 
that will you know cause you long-term damage it is very important for you to you know give your skin the nutrients and the moisture that it needs in order for it to glow even if it means to changing your diet you can change your diet and then your skin some of the skin problems that you're facing they might you know reduce or eventually be eradicated off from your life because of simple diet uh practice again you can also follow simple skin care regimen that can you know help improve your skin on a daily basis be extra careful about your skin okay so till i come your way again it's your girl lillian please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel all right take care and bye Mwah.